Pregame.com. Welcome back to Pregame.tv. I'm your host, Marco D'Angelo. Joined in studio, Ken Thompson, SportsX Radio here in Las Vegas. Brian Leonard, professional sports better and all-around good guy most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know me lunch. Yeah, the disclaimer, though. I yeah. like it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're taking a look at a game here. San Jose State at Nevada. Now, you know, this is one where a lot of guys will, you know, kind of like your South Florida, Memphis, why bother? But, you know, somebody's got to win. They put a point spread up there, and there's going to be a winner. I look at this game. You've got a team, San Jose State, they had won four in a row, looked well on their way to clinching bowl eligibility last week. They were up 11 points in the fourth quarter. Unfortunately, I was on them, and then they had a total collapse in the fourth quarter. Uh, kind of sickening to watch uh, whenever I was watching that, as I was also getting rivered at the same time at the Bellagio Poker Room. It wasn't, wasn't a fun Saturday night either way. But uh, I look at this team, now they travel to Nevada. Nevada, a lot of tradition there, a lot of history. Coach is gone, and this year the season's gone. You know, now they have no shot at a bowl. Um, do they just fold up the tent, play out the string, Nevada, or is there enough pride there with this team? What do you guys think? Well, they lost the can, and that was the monumental thing that kind of punched them in the mouth and uh, made them realize that this was going to be a tough season to forget. Uh, I would have went a little lower with a kick. Wow. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you, you know what? It, it, it's been a long year for the Wolfpack, and Chris Alt, old man that he is, two tenures there, and he did an outstanding job. He walks away, and all of a sudden the team, I don't want to say falls apart, but they definitely took a step down in class. Did he know when to leave, though? Did, you know, did he see the cupboard was getting bare and now was the best time to do it? Or You, you, you never know, unless you're in his position. But you, you're right. He's a lot, a lot like the Kansas State coach Snyder. I mean, just guys that have been there for a long time left because the program was struggling, came back, got them where they needed to be, and then he left for probably greener, greener pastures. Yeah, Fajardo was still there, so it's not like you're starting with a new quarterback, Wimberley. They still have some weapons. Well, we're going to talk about those weapons because – Actually, my play in this game, I'm not going to be using a side. I'm actually looking at the total. And I think when you get into a situation like this, I don't know about you guys, but I do this in almost all sports. When you get to the end of the season, whether they have just a couple games left, and especially when it's for both teams, uh, but when you've got one team that has nothing left to play for, to me, I think they start to lose intensity. And intensity, to me, translates. To defense. I think it takes more energy and everything to play defense than it does to play offense because defense is all reaction. And with uh, nothing to play for for Nevada, I think they're just going to go out at home, have a good time, sling the ball around a little bit, and we're going to see some of those higher scoring games that we saw earlier in the year with Nevada that caused their totals to get really inflated. And now that they've had several unders in a row, I think this is a spot where this total actually should be higher than it is. Uh, I don't know if you guys have any comments before I get into my close. Well, San Jose State needs us to be bowl eligible, correct? So they may not. They may play a little bit more tighter to the vest. It, these aren't two teams that are completely out of out of it right here. I'm not saying I'm against your your thoughts on this, but just something to keep in mind. You know, San Jose, I saw them play UNLV here, and they ran the ball really well that night. Fails only threw for 150 yards, didn't have to do much. Then last week, you know, uh, a little more passing. We know he's a guy that can definitely uh, go up and down the field. I think if you're going over, I think it's the only way I'd look. All right. Well, you know what? Let's make it official. All right, guys, we're going to take a look at the over in this game. And what I'm looking at is I said that they've had, uh, talking about Nevada, they've had four straight games go under the total. What we've had is an adjustment from the Las Vegas lines makers. They had two games back-to-back, -back, the last game in September and the first game in October, where they scored a 45-42 game against Air Force and then a 51-44 game against San Diego State. Well, after you put up that many points back-to-back -back weeks, the next several games, the over-unders were inflated so high. They went from totals of 58.5 and 60.5 in those two games to 67.5, 68, and 74.5. Ridiculous. Now, last week, the total was brought down to 65.5, but they still went under last week. It was a game that was no scoring early on. But then the second half, things opened up, and it almost, if they played the first half like they played the second half last week, there would have been an easy over. And I think you're going to see a carryover of that this week. 
First off, San Jose State has scored 30 or more points in five straight games. They also give up a ton of points. I look this week for a lot of scoring as San Jose State likes to pass the football. When in the last few weeks, Nevada has faced some ball clubs that do run the football well. That's not going to be the case this week. You're going to see more passing. And I look back, UNLV threw for 335 yards against Nevada, and Fresno State for, threw for 487. Look for both teams to go up and down the field. Nevada, they've got nothing to lose. They're trying to play spoiler to San Jose State, so they may take some gambles on some fourth and shorts where normally you might punt the ball. Now, with nothing to play for, you can take chances. And when you take chances, those generally result in points. Either they're going to convert on it or you're going to give up field position. And as I said, San Jose State can score points, but they give up a ton of points. And I look at this game, I look at the total, at what we're sitting at, and I'm going to go over the total of 66 and a half here. I see this game getting into the 70s, so we're going to make our free play over the total. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We're going to go with the over, and we're going to come right back. We're going to the NFL. Guys, finally get to the NFL. and We've got my free play in the NFL. We're going to go Washington at Philly. That's up next, pregame.tv.